I'm ready. We, oh God! Uh, I'm using a coffee cup. To I was about to say. <laughs> oh, you think the coffee cup is your ally? <laughs> I was born into it, Moon. I was born into the coffee bean. It's I was the purest <laughs> form of coffee in the cup. <laughs> What's the difference between a stork and a pelican? Just out of curiosity. Uh, species? Genus? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> is there a difference? Or is it just a name for the same thing? I believe uh, they're different birds, yes. Okay. Uh, well, I gotta go with my fire girl. Uh, I wanna be. Name. I wanna be my guy. Uh, I wanna be my guy. If you wanna be my guy, you gotta pick the right guy. Ooh, so break the ice by doing something unexpected on the bus. Start a fire. Well, my head is already on fire. Play dead, perform magic trick, make sure the bus is happy. Ride the bus to victory. Just press the skip button till this shit starts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, your hair's on fire. Like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. All you gotta Everyone. do is just stand up. Everyone good? Everyone happy? Good? Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I I need to ride the uh, the bus to victory. Wait, are we riding to victory right now? I thought we were on summer vacation. I admire your resolve, Typhro. War never sleeps, and there are always victories to be taken. You've opened my eyes. We shall ride this bus into our destinies, and when we reach camp, we have our spoils. Just what the spoils are still remains to be seen, I guess, but a war conqueress never doubts herself. I haven't read it in so long. Why is it so hard? <laughs> See you again, fellow soldier. Oh my god. Uh, oh, Ryan. Okay. Uh oh my god. So Camp Dome. Is that is that Dude. the dome from Doug Dick Dimidome? It looks like Doug uh, Dimidome. Look, I'm not dome. gonna tell you nothing. Just go where you wanna go. <laughs> Did someone say drop? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, it was me. Hello, friend Polly. <laughs> Alright. I am also here. The two founding members of the Prank Masters, together here in the same place at the same time. What an incident, innocent coincidence. Yeah, that's what it is. A fun, non-suspicious coincidence. Really? I, I thought you said, like, we were here to prank calculate. Laters! We heard break calculators by using it to spell words like boobs and lol. But now that we've met you, there's something you should know. Calculester, I'm pregnant and you're the father. Wow. I'm like also pregnant and you're also the father. <laughs> Scott, come on, you're gonna blow it. Uh, blow, blow what? I just like to participate. Interesting. My two most mischievous friends have just simultaneously informed me that they are both <laughs> pregnant with my children. I am made out of questions right now. <laughs> Thus, it seems I have no choice but to believe them uncritically. For you see, we are friends, and friends never lie to one another. Ergo, oh, no. <laughs> I am going to be a double father. <laughs> Engaging behavioral template response, parent, parental figure, sh sh shutting down childish sub, sub routines, such as have fun and find summer romance. No, this will seriously harm your chances of getting your robone on with calculus this summer. You've got to find a way to defuse this situation, but how? All right. Smart. Yay! Oh, hey, hey. Hey. So smart. Luckily, robot monster reproduction is one of your primary areas of fanfic writing. I mean expertise. You've decided to start with Calculester Polly. 
When a ghost and a robot love each other very, very much, you explain, they engage in a very special courtship. This courtship can take many forms, but almost always involves seductively helping each other make pottery and giving a thumbs up while descending into magma. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there's no way to prove we didn't do all that stuff. My memory banks are infallible, and I have no record of such interactions. Okay, so maybe there's one super reliable way to prove <laughs> we didn't do that stuff. <laughs> uh, what about me? I'm like pregnant too. This is true. I'm afraid that your ghost slash robot explanation, while useful, has done nothing to elucidate this situation. You explain to Cal that in the case of robot werewolf pregnancy, the most important first step is to ask the werewolf if there's any actual way he could have gotten pregnant. <laughs> Scott, is there any way I could have impregnated you? Like, uh, <clears throat> no, uh, I just love to participate. Interesting. As I am no longer about to be a father, I suppose I no longer have any use for the 4,000 petabytes of parenting data I just downloaded. Reallocating that hard drive space for lustful thoughts about attractive I campmates. Love the look on his face. Big bean. Big bean. I don't get it. What do you mean? That's just an 8 equals D. I don't understand. What are you talking about? It's not even good math. Man, now your sex talk has me all horny for robot ass. Later, guys. I'm off to troll for techno booty over a boss and dynamics. <laughs> and, like, I'm going to go participate. Totally like doing it for the cram. Okay, pre-game selfie time. Not to be confused with mid or post-game selfies. Everyone say Team Blue. Balls. Wait, friends, Team Blue. Look in the background of this selfie behind us, trying to steal our flag. Is that? Oh, oh Scoots! Looks like you caught me. That's right. Team Red will be crushed into the ground. Where you belong? Wait. Batness doesn't seem super concerned. Why doesn't Batness seem super concerned? Oh, maybe because I was only the diversion and a much deeper plan is already in motion. I plan you will never be able to stop. <laughs> It's almost like a uh, handsome Squidward. <laughs> <laughs>